Breaking news, guys. Cancellation of Imo State Governorship Election to commence. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, accredited election of Zavarts on Wednesday called for the total cancellation of last Saturday's Imo governorship election in the state. The cross-section of observers led by the Director of Operations, She for She Initiative for Women and Girl Child, Kenneth Umazi, made the demand while speaking to newsmen in Uweri on the controversies surrounding the Imo governorship election. Among the, the council areas where they allege saw massive irregularities and that the election did not only hold but electoral materials were adjacked as well as issues of overvoting, vote buying and physical assaults, including the Okigwe, Orson, Olu, Emine, Mbano, Ikedoro, Oru East, Oru West, Oweri West, Idota North, Idota South, and others. They said that the election was marred by irregularities characterized by vote buying and physical attacks on persons who were out to exercise their franchise. That independent National Electoral Commission need to address the people of Imo and guarantee of Nigerians as to why voting was carried out in many polling units without the use of the beavers meant for accreditation of voter, votes of voters. In several instances, the security agencies were complicit as observed and shown in several viral videos where they compromise their duties of ensuring credible election. By that, they aided and abated the massive rigging as witness in the Imo state election. In one instance, a voter was attacked in an attempt to expose open-day vote buying with cash. That INEC is hereby urged to provide answers as to why elections did not hold in many polling units in this instance. We observed that in nine of the polling units, there were no election in our own local government area. That INEC may have exhibited flaws in many areas, one of which is outright relocation without notice to voters in our own local government area. Voters were not informed of INEX plan to conduct cluster election, hence, many voters were disenfranchised. The question INEC must answer is who are those that voted in our own? Are they from our own or strangers? That in our Kigwe local government area, we observed that no result sheet was delivered to polling centers in all the 11 wards in Okigwe local government area. We also observed that election did not occur in the eight polling units in the same election. The INEC and police authorities in Okigwe may have to explain where the collection for Okigwe, the local government area, was done. We also witnessed that in Emine Mbano, Emihi Mbano, uh, Ikedero, Idota North, among others, witnessed desperate by Lord Balls snatching as ball buses were snatched and delivered to the fortress of political party actors in the area. That other areas observed without election in Olu East, local government area, the Idota North, Ikedero. Oru West and Uweri West local government area. We also observed that world collation was not done in the words as promised by INEC before the election, especially in Okigwe zone, Olu zone and in, in almost parts of the state, specifically in Emikuku ward 1. The INEC 
World Collection Officer disappeared from the Emekuku High School Collection Center. Some security agents appeared from nowhere, shooting into the air to gas the environment and weeks away the INEC staff and made away with the results. That was noticed with un- utmost, utmost dismay as to why there was um, um, was upload of result from EC8A from various polling units where election did not hold. Yet, it was seen on the IREF in over 2,000 polling unit results as uploaded and seen in the IREF the total number of votes as allocated to candidates were higher than the actual number of accredited voters, which in all totality demerit the integrity of Imo governorship elections. We therefore call for total cancellation of the November 11, 2023 Imo state governorship election, they said. Among other observers group, the New Down for Development Initiative, International Women and Youth Revival Initiative, Global Hope and Justice for the Less Privileged, the Citizen Right for Peace and Good Leadership Initiative, the Center for Children Care and Youth Development, Women with Disability of Nigeria, Support Foundation, Women and Youth Empowerment for Global Change, initiative. One of the talk and say INEC na the worst enemy of Nigerians. It be like say a person just they talk. What are they doing? Are they are they conducting election in Nigeria or what are they doing? What is even the meaning of this? If they do not want election again in Nigeria, there is no need calling people to come and vote. This is so sad what Nigeria has become lately. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.